Climate change is probably one of the most serious existential challenges facing contemporary human civilization. Following centuries of industrialization and stripping the planet of its natural resources, we have brought on a crisis of global proportions. The implications of climate change are too great to ignore, with disastrous consequences for the planet, its fauna, flora, lands and oceans. The ice in Antarctica is already melting at an unprecedented pace, devastating not only for the continent's species, but also resulting in rapidly rising sea levels. Climate change results in rising global temperatures, which in turn melts the Antarctic ice reserves. So, if all ice in Antarctica were to melt, what exactly would happen? By the way, if you're passionate about learning and discovering in-depth insights about scientific and philosophical phenomena such as this, then please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. In any theoretical scenario, the melting of the ice caps in Antarctica is never a good thing. Figuring out what could potentially happen will require working out the area and depth of Antarctica's ice so that we can understand just what volume of water would be released into the Earth's oceans. Roughly, Antarctica is the size of the United States and Mexico combined, so it's approximately 14.2 million square kilometers. The average depth of an Antarctic ice sheet is around 1.9 kilometers, which is just under 2,000 meters and just over 6,500 feet. Basically, it's an unimaginably vast amount of ice. At this point, it's probably a good idea to distinguish between the Arctic, otherwise known as the North Pole, and Antarctica, also called the South Pole. As their names may suggest, the Arctic Arctic and Antarctica are located at polar opposites on either side of the globe. Compared to Antarctica, however, the ice on the Arctic is not nearly as thick. The latter is already floating on the Arctic Ocean, so even if it were to melt, sea levels wouldn't be noticeably affected, although it would still cause serious problems for the wildlife on the continent. If Antarctica were to melt, on the other hand, it would be an entirely different story. It is estimated that the global sea level has risen approximately 6 to 8 inches or 15 to 20 centimeters in the last 100 years due to melting ice. At the moment, most of this has happened when parts of frozen glaciers have melted and broken off the mainland mass, becoming icebergs that float around in the ocean. With rising temperatures, there's a significant probability of these glaciers continuing to weaken even further. As they begin to crack, more and more deposits of ice will fall into the ocean. An iceberg will displace a volume of water in the ocean that is equal to that of the iceberg's weight, and this leads to a gradual increase in sea levels. Antarctica is the main ice-covered landmass on Earth and contains around 90% of the planet's ice, within which 70% of the Earth's freshwater reserves are contained as well. Unlike the Arctic, which is already floating in the ocean, all of Antarctica's ice is sitting on land. If all that ice were to melt, either spontaneously or gradually, sea levels around the world would rise by approximately 60 meters or 200 feet. This is definitely a terrifying figure to even think about. Such a drastic rise in sea levels would certainly cause permanent, widespread and irreparable damage to ecosystems, settlements, wildlife and human populations. Considering that the average temperature in Antarctica lingers continuously around minus 37 degrees Celsius, it's unlikely that all that ice will spontaneously melt, at least in the foreseeable future. Still, sea levels do not have to rise by hundreds of feet in order to wreak havoc upon the planet. Even a rise as subtle as a few centimeters or inches is something that has to be avoided at all costs, and as a phenomenon which is happening and continues to happen as the planet's polar ice caps gradually melt, weakening and breaking away into the ocean. Scientific projections for the ice melting at Antarctica are far from optimistic. Even a relatively insignificant rise in sea levels could be enough to debilitate coastal cities such as Shanghai and Boston. And the potential implications don't stop here either, with changes to Antarctica's enormous ice sheets triggering changes in global temperatures, affecting ocean circulation, and having a widespread impact on the planet's complex and fragile climate and ecological systems. With this video, we hope that we've helped to further your understanding of one of the modern world's most significant and relevant challenges. And if we have, then please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for even more insights and explorations.